Ooh, daddy. Hi guys, Alex here, and today we've got a doozy. So today I have a couple stories lined up for you guys, including Nick Ocado, Avocado, Life by Jen, and Amy's Life journey but first we are taking a trip to nikocado's twitter where i am luckily not blocked yet so he took to twitter yesterday to tweet out this video and i can't play it for you guys for obvious reasons youtube will just completely strike me down if i do but he said f you and he posted this video giving his audience the middle finger and repeating i'm not sorry i'm not sorry i'm not sorry obviously alluding to the stephanie sue um drama that he has been in for the past few weeks since christmas eve right and things have not really been looking up. But to be honest, I think that just like any other YouTuber cancellation, this will eventually blow over and people will just forget about it. That's kind of how the internet works these days. You are canceled, you are thrown into the fire, and eventually the flames are extinguished. So he's not sorry he seems to be adding a little bit of more fuel to the fire right now not addressing it addressing it giving the middle finger to the haters but it seems he has moved on to a different career path that's right he is taking a page out of trisha paytas's book and doing some pretty explicit things on his only fans he took to twitter yesterday as well to say filming myself waggling my wemo today posted two videos more on the way stroking my thick wemo come see for yourself if you're 18 plus so yes it seems he has taken a page out of trisha paytas's book if he couldn't take any more already i mean he's literally the gay equivalent of trisha paytas at this point so it seems he is doing only fans now and he was doing only fans for a while but he was just doing like shirtless pictures in the gay community there's like a chub fetish i guess and i was hurt i heard but i haven't seen that he just kind of holds his belly and shakes it up and down i mean he does that on youtube already but if you want to pay for it girl go ahead and pay for it i'm not here to stop you or judge anyone for explicit content but it's definitely not my cup of tea so next I want to talk about Amy's life journey and life by Jen as you guys have probably heard by now they were planning on doing a weight loss challenge collab and I was super excited it seemed like a good idea but there was many things that were raising red flags for the entire community the number one red flag was the fact that they were going to be doing a giveaway with every pound lost they were going to be putting one dollar in a jar for every pound lost and once it reached to about 25 dollars i believe they were going to be giving away amazon gift cards and just things of that nature and a lot of people were skeptical they were like well why are you giving away money amy specifically has stated in the past that she um was struggling financially so that raised a lot of red flags a lot of people were bringing it up in the comment section many people were very critical of that fact including myself so i was shocked yesterday when amy's life journey and life by jen both announced that they were no longer going to be doing the collab anymore and there was also a little bit of discrepancy on just who idea it was to back out this is amy's official statement on the ordeal so she took to her comment section to post honestly it's not about who did what or who said what at the end of the day we both just want to live our lives and get healthy and get our lives back 
I mean no ill toward Jen, and I know she doesn't towards me. I think it was just a mutual thing that we both decided to kind of do our own things. And that is totally fine. There is no drama that needs to be created out of this. From here on out, I will not be addressing any of this challenge collaboration stuff. Sound familiar? We're just not going to address it. Okay. I really just want to focus on me. Any drama is not going to be focused on. Sorry if that's what you came to my channel for. But you will still get a weight loss journey because that's not ending. And someone else posted in the comment section. So who backed out? Jen says you did. And someone else replied, I think the reward part is probably why they stopped collaborating because I don't see having different diets would matter. It's just about losing weight and getting healthy. And the reason I'm reading that comment is because Amy did in fact give it a heart. So I'm thinking she agrees with that. So a lot of people are speculating that the reason that they decided not to do the collab anymore was because Jen was focusing a lot on keto. There was also talk about the fact that Jen had more to lose and it would be easier for her to win. <laughs> I don't know. There was just a lot of holes in this collab and a lot of things that weren't adding up. So Jen had said in her video that Amy decided that she wanted to focus on her health and not be part of the collab. While Amy said that Jen was going to focus on her diet. So really it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly what went wrong. But I think the criticism was a little bit overwhelming. And to be honest, I think Jen saw the recent controversy that Amy was, you know, stirring up in the Amberlynn community or whatever you want to call it specifically. Amy was recently facing a lot of backlash for what a lot of people consider to be racist comments in an earlier video. She was seen with her two young kids who I just don't feel comfortable showing on my channel, but I believe it's on Twitter, the clip. So they were eating and Amy was joking around that it was a mukbang. Okay. And Amy starts going ching, ching, chong is what she has heard saying in the background. So a lot of people took offense to that, me included. I mean, we know mukbang originates from Korea specifically, but the Asian community as a whole has to deal with derogatory comments like this all the time. And it's just not okay. So Amy had addressed in yesterday's video that she means nothing by it, that her family was very multicultural and that she didn't even know mukbang was from Asia. But to be honest, I don't buy it. I think she knew exactly what she was doing. Maybe she just didn't realize how derogatory it was. A case of ignorance that hopefully can be learned from. I think Amy is overwhelmed by the influx of attention that she's been receiving lately from various communities and forums alike. She is new to this, but that is no excuse for her behavior. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and we're going to get straight into a comment of the day. All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day, and that's comment of the day. And today we're going to be looking at yesterday's video, which was popular questions. I've been avoiding my reaction, and I like to hear your guys's response to the video because sometimes we do have different perspectives and it's always good to hear what you have to say. So let's randomly pick a winner. This is from Elle Gerber. And she says, you think she would at least brush her hair before filming a video to put out to the public? And I have to agree. I mean, her videos have been averaging over 100,000 views. So to put yourself out looking like that, I would just be embarrassed. This comes from Calendar Page. 
And they say, I started keto as a vegetarian coming off of being vegan. It can be done. And I have to say that Amber Lynn is definitely never going to do keto ever. All right, that's a reply. This is from Simone, and they say, avoiding, come on, quite often immigrants are way better than Americans. And I don't know what that acronym means, but I hope you understand that when I typed avoiding as the title, it was an allusion to Amberlynn. I mean, I know that it's avoiding, so let's randomly pick another winner. This is from Gabby, and she says, Keto can be ethical. There are plant, fats, and protein. One could do keto vegan or vegetarian. And that's interesting. I just don't think that Amberlynn will ever do keto. She said that a bunch of times. I have been looking into it. I do like um, some meat, though. So let's pick the most liked recent comment. This is from Nicolette Marie, and she says, are you no longer the one and only source into the scandalous lives of Kentucky's obese? Love you, Alex. Love you, Nicolette. And I just have to say the intro was getting a little bit too long. And there are several reasons why I decided not to have that as part of my intro. Um, the number one being that I'm just, you know, branching out with my content especially since our girl does not do videos every day and i just want to see what else is out there you know um besides that as well people wouldn't understand the joke and a lot of times i would get comments saying there's like a ton of other amberlynn channels like what are you talking about and of course i know that i knew that when i created the intro it was in allusion to Gossip Girl, as I'm sure many people know, and I was hoping that you guys would know, <laughs> but that is getting to be quite an old show, so not everyone is familiar with it. But of course, we are going to continue to do Amberlynn content, as well as content on other YouTubers that I have a lot to say about. <laughs> So, of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the <gasps> next one. Bye, guys.